Hello everyone, this is Fallen Dice, and welcome to a second episode of my Survivor's Guide to the Ravenhurst mod. So, there's our our uh, base uh, where we're hiding out for right now. We're right up in this, this little house right here. Uh, at the end of the last episode, I went ahead and looted it. So, uh, overnight, I was able to loot this little shack, this little cabin, and one of these houses here, um, I guess it's the blue house, not the green house. That makes more sense, calling it the blue house. But in doing those, and I've actually been using my my construction <laughs> tool to clean up the bodies, so I've actually gotten a few levels of construction tools. But this is what we picked up. So we got the food I brought with me, but we got some more nails. Uh, scavenging, I'm going to go ahead and read that again. So scavenging continues to go up, so we're at 11. I uh, just hit level 10, and that opened up the scrap iron tools, which we'll talk about later. Um, mining tools, mm, you know, I'm probably going to read those too. Mining is how you level, especially early game, so I am going to do that. Uh, found some weapon parts there, some more peroxide, 11 more twine. I'm up to about 20 twine now. So like I said, twine isn't as hard to come by as people think it is. You just, you got to loot the houses. That's where the twine's at. Um, box of nails. I got 41 leather strips from couches. Got a little bit of ammo. Uh, a deer wandered into the house while I was looting it, so that was an easy kill. Got some meat and some animal hide from there. Uh, medicine. Let's go ahead and scrap those. I did find a pistol in the toilet, so I got the toilet pistol. All right, Dairy Essentials by Gorby. So this is going to give us some of the dairy recipe or some of the food recipes. So we're going to learn that. Um, automatic weapon teaches us how to make the one the one mi Galil. So we'll learn that first time. After that, we can destroy it or make more knowledge points. And we found ourselves a basic wrench and a cheesy cheesy old uh, knife. So really good looting from that. Um, what I'm going to do is we're going to go back up here. I want to put this away up in my chest. Uh, I'm going to go the, these two houses here and get, get a bit more loot. And then we're going to make another trader run. And then once we're done with that, we're going to put together our first, uh, our first two, our stations. So I went ahead and it's kind of getting a little bit better set up. Got some light in here. So, yeah, real quickly, I'm going to put away, I, I, I organize the way I normally do. So we've got my food and medicine is up here. Um, actually, I guess I had a couple items I hadn't gotten out. I did find another uh, herbal antibiotics, which is good. Definitely make sure I bring this with me there. Um, yeah, but I, I kind of sorted out. These are the crafting items I'd use. That hasn't done anything yet. That's going to be vehicle stuff. This is my weapons, tools, clothes. Um, this is my... Um, trader, which I'm going to start putting some of the items I'm going to sell in here. But yeah, so I'm going to quickly sort, and then we'll go loot a couple houses, hit the trader, and then we're going to really get into starting to make some of the weapons and the different stations, starting with the advanced cooking station and stuff. Or the advanced... Uh, not cooking station. What is it? Let's grab some twine to tell me what the recipes are. I always forget. The advanced campfire. There we go. So anyway, I will be back in a few. Wow. So up in the top of these, you're going to see when I, the next one we're going to do the whole one together, but they have two hidden stash boxes. Repeating crossbow. Oof, that is so nice. But I think the lowest I can use in there is iron or steel bolts. So looks like it's probably iron, but whew, nice. Yeah, this has been a good loot run. So on the next one, we're gonna, I'm going to show you guys completely from beginning to end. And it's, it's definitely probably one of my favorite... POIs to, to loot. So, here we are. So to start off, <clears throat> the outside, and as you can see, I've got a, a couple statuses I need to fix, but I'm going to do it at the end, so if I get any more during this, I'm not wasting the medical on it. But I could do the bite right now. I need, still need to create the uh, fixes for the messy. Have I been in here? No, I haven't. Okay. Yep. So usually the first room of this is going to have a couple of militaries. Sometimes they're right as you're walking in. Other times they're sitting on that table. Oh, come on. Um, not high enough level and uh, bows yet to be able to one-shot them. 
but I am getting there. I'm already up to, I think, 21. But it's good stuff from them. And it, I'm quickly leveling that archery. And then there's the other one. Uh, except for you didn't die. Oh, I was hoping I could get him. <laughs> I always hate going out of buildings while they're still alive because sometimes you'll walk back in and the in there'll be stuff where you just, the one we just killed just respawned. So I tend to like try to oh, want to stay in side the building. Oh, come on. The ground keeps changing on me, so I'm concerned with trying to get him quickly. And I'm not taking my time to actually aim. Uh, you're doing circles now. Oh, I thought I had you that time. At least they have a predictive um, head bob. Not really. Gotcha. Um, probably living kind of dangerous at 44 health, um, but I do have a bedroll down now. I <laughs> noticed I had yet to put it down. So you can see good uh, cabinets in there. Um, also lots of, uh, oops, there you are, lots of leather. Oh, shoot. That's a bad time to jitter. A potato aim right now. Holy cow. Why am I doing so bad? There we go. And the reason I'm switching to the bow is I still am doing the uh, the quest where I have to kill a certain number of zombies with the bow. Then I can move on. I did find in one of the other secret stashes up there an iron bow, which is good handy because I think that is the next item in this quest line for killing zombies once I kill them with the bow. So that's one less thing I have to create, or craft. Gotcha. Oh, I hate when they hide their heads in the door. But I was able to see enough to kill them. And now we got Fatty Grandma. Hopefully she's actually... Nope. Good job. Sometimes my aim works. Oh, shoot. Sometimes it don't. Ah, uh, come on. Okay. I figured she was going to die, but these aren't the times to be worrying about getting the kill with a certain weapon. Best to just get it done. Alright, so we've got these guys down here. Um, he was the one that's inside of here. We're going to loot the entire place all at once. I just want to get rid of all the zombies so we can kind of go through. Plus, I can get rid of all the bodies as I'm going as well. Usually, there's one or two in here. Sometimes there'll be one up there and sometimes here, but it looks like that's it for this place. All right, so we'll come up here first. You can make this jump without taking out this block, but it's just a pain in the, pain in the butt to try and do it. So I usually just... You know, get some free wood, take out that one block, and it's easier to get up there. Sounds like we might have a uninvited visitor downstairs. All right. So up here, like I said, you've got two hidden stash boxes, which are really nice. So sometimes you can get some sweet items up here. So this is another reason why this is a really good POI to come after, the secret stash. It's a hidden stash, yes. Yeah, hidden, secret hidden stash. So it's both. But like I said, you saw the one that I had that had the repeating crossbow. As you get your scavenging up, it really starts to give you some nice items. All right, so see what we get in these two. Hope I don't run out of inventory space because I haven't made a stop yet. So I had another iron bow, some more iron arrows, very nice. And this one, eh, that's two parts of that LSAT gun. I think I have the other part over there. They're not very good quality ones, so it's almost more it's almost worth more to just at this point to sell them until I get higher quality parts. Uh, I know I have somebody downstairs, but I am down to two minutes on messy, so you know what? I probably should make a quick run back, make make a towel, because I don't want to get infected off of this. That would be bad. So like I said, towel, 
just a 10 cloth fragment, two twine, which I had just picked up, so I'm not even using the ones I had. And then all we need to do, add in the bottle of water, and we are good to go. Um, they've done a fix on this, but I'm still going to use it from my hot bar. Um, sometimes when you try to use um, healing or food items from your inventory, it doesn't actually work. And that can be really bad, especially if it's something that, like a, a healing thing where those are hard to come by. So we'll go and do that. Good. We get rid of that. I'm going to leave that bike mark for yet. Actually, I should, should have gotten rid of some stuff in my inventory. But I'm going to leave that bite mark for now because I still have some time and I don't want to waste, waste that item. And then I'm just going to dump a few things in this chest here. Actually, that's not better. So I'll meet you back at the house. All right, so we're back. I didn't fully empty my inventory out just because there's some things that we hadn't um, looked at yet. So we'll continue on with this. So if the messy's gone, I do have a bandage so I can take care of that bite mark once we get closer. I, yeah, yeah, I have bandage. Uh, I came up and there was actually a zombie waiting back there in that area where they normally like to hide. So I think it just took its time spawning on me. Uh, nightstands, if you didn't know, loot those. It's kind of funny, but you, I, I get a lot of quest, or not quest, uh, a lot of uh, skill books and things like that where you would, in either the lockers or these. So they are not something you want to skip, like normally people tend to ignore them because they don't want the clothes. But they've actually got some really good stuff in, on, during this mod. Uh, this is really good early game for leather. Again, you're only getting the scraps, so we're going to have to make a... Uh, I worked a tool station to turn this into leather. Uh, we'll go through that here shortly, but it's a drying rack. It's pretty easy to make. Enough that I'll make it in this temporary base before our, our real one. Because I don't want to put my land claim block down until I can actually till I get a, a tool that can destroy it quickly. And that's the ways off yet. So the stuff that we do put down is going to be some of our easy to reproduce. Hopefully I can find another cooking pot because then I can make the advanced um, campfire and not worry about leaving that behind. You notice most of these POIs have a lot of bookshelves which is good even though we don't always seem to get actual books out of the bookshelves but they have a lot of paper so it, it does come in handy. I uh, found two pistols I think so far which is nice. I'll start keeping those around for emergency situations those oh crap moments. Uh, haven't found a first aid kit yet, but we did, like I said, find a, a couple bandages earlier to go along with the two we have, and I do have two herbal antibiotics, so I've actually, I'm sitting pretty well as far as infection goes. I haven't, uh, cross fingers, knock on wood, haven't gotten infected yet, but if I do, at least I've got the ability to cure a couple infections before I get to the danger area. I think I did find that honey as well. So, so like you see, this is a really, a really nice POI. The hidden, the secret hidden stash is is one of the best parts about it. But there's also a lot of other good stuff. So these are really good. So I'm gonna finish going through these cabinets, and then we're gonna go back and get our stuff for the trader. And we're gonna make a trader run by, I think that 300. Um, wrench which I can use to start doing some car parts um, and then meet back for like I said a couple of the our first crafting stations quickly we did find a few more books while we were doing that so again we're scrapping that old novel so these are quests so you could find different books so I have some of those down here so you can see with the question mark so these are for quests I don't have that one yet, but I will get it so that if I do find it, I can get the uh, credit for it. Just looking for some old novels. Pistols, we are scrapping. Um, kill some chicks. This is the I think killing chickens with a nail gun. I don't plan on doing it, so I'm just going... Oops, nope, that's just paper. Oh, well. Uh, these are some more recipes. Blueberry pie, apple pie, so we'll read that. Painting wall coverings. I will always get these the first time I see them. Then I can scrap them for the rest. And we now have the shotgun schematic. All right, we made it to the trader. Unfortunately, looking at myself, I wasn't paying close enough attention. I forgot to use the bandage on the bite, even though I'd 
brought the bandage with me. So I am now infected, which means uh, I'm going to have to use one of my two herbals or my honey, which sad, but um, yeah, it is what it is. So these are the items I brought with me. These are things that we can sell. I hadn't realized, but I'd gotten a really garbage rocket launcher, but that is definitely worth some, some gold. I'm going to sell the wrench because I'm getting a better wrench and I'm just trying to get as much as I can. Remember to bring the starter shack and some things. So we actually we should come up prices. with a decent amount of, of of cash after this. So we'll see if we can even level up. Oh, he already doesn't want this anymore. So that's one thing I couldn't sell. But hopefully, like I said, by the time we're done, I want to be able to at least buy the wrench. And then we'll see if there's anything else that we want to pick up. If not, we'll hold on to it. And I'm selling all the garbage gun parts because I really don't need them. Not yet. And I would hate to make a gun out of really stupid parts just because that's the only ones I could make. So we'll find our wrench. I know he was in here. Still not going to buy a mining, or a mining helmet. Uh, we'll find one. There we go. Yep, we'll pick that up. Sell that. I still have 5,000. Is there anything that I wanted? Nice to hear all the sound of leveling up our bartering. We'll see if I have enough to get a secret stash uh, upgraded a little bit. And I don't think there was anything I wanted in here. Not yet. Thank you, Survivor. All right, so... Actually, when... Yes, you. When are you resetting? Day four. All right, so I'm heading back to the base. Uh, when we get back there, I haven't used any of my points yet, so we're gonna do some point stuff. Some of it we need to to be able to make the uh, the stations that we want to make, and then we'll see where that takes us. So I will be right back. Ooh, nice. Picked up a uh, HD TV with stand. So. Um, I just figured I'd hit up a couple of these uh, little shacks on the way home. Uh, those, not much definite use for them, but 372. And I did pick up a nice purple set of wheels off the road, so I'm going to hold off onto those till we can make our mini bike. But um, I just wanted to also say, too, like if you notice, like that, that, that run actually got me a little, quite a bit of money, which when a mod is made to take away from the ability to profit a lot from the trader shows how important it is to hit up these uh, these POIs because I I didn't do like a big giant skyscraper or you know one of the stores that was just doing the regular um, prefabs that are added in POIs and they're very worth it so if you're having trouble finding stuff like I remember I I made that um, towel but I still have 19 twine, and I've only looted maybe seven or eight houses so far. All you got to do is kind of get out there and explore and loot. You are going to get the resources you need. The, uh, the theme of the pack is hard but rewarding, and you will find that that is going to happen. So we're back here. That was like a little temporary chest I made when I was first clearing this out because I had no inventory space and I didn't want to lose anything. But we're going to come upstairs here and we're going to look at our skills. Alright, so I'm not putting anything into blunt or blade. Does me no good. I can put that three points here to get one level and that's it. It's capped until I get the skill. So it doesn't make me any sense. How Ever bow, I may hold off on as well because what this this is just to help with the creating of the the crossbows and things. It's not going to help me do any more damage. Just craft them faster and higher quality. So I'll hold off. I'm going to make eventually get that, but for now I'm not. But I am going to put a point into primitive and a point into scrap. Now here's the, kind of the funny thing. Uh, there's there's a lot of people that that say that they're not going to use scrap. That they only use the primitive because it's going to give you your stone axe. I like both. The stone axe is good for, you know, hacking things up, getting your construction, but the scrap axe also builds towards your construction. So you can still use it on your doors and things like that and upgrade your construction. 
the benefit of this scrap um, pick is that it helps to level your mining as well as your um, scrap shovel. I want mining to go up because that is how I level. And once I get done with my first three or so days of looting, I'm going to go looking for a desert and then I'm going to mine for a couple more days and hopefully by that up until like that first horde night. So that's how you quickly kind of level through. You can do it the you know, other ways, but to me, this is then the fastest way. A few days of scavenging, looting, getting the stuff I need, and then a few days of mining with some more scavenging and looting kind of thrown in. But then you start to kind of level up, and then eventually you'll get to your iron. And the, the hope is, is that you're going to find in the trader a really nice higher level you know, iron pick or shovel. And then all you have to do once you get to the point of making the advanced workbench is craft up ones for repairing it and then you don't have it doesn't matter how high you can craft it as long as you can craft something to, to fix it all right so we got those um, I am going to take science because there are some things that I need that require science and construction so we'll get that right off the bat um, early on this really helps because I you're not getting a lot of uh, a lot of uh, items to cook and feed and 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 give yourself drinks so it's nice to not have to do it as often um, don't care about that for the moment don't care about any of those um, secret stash don't still need 20 so it's gonna be a little bit before that um, I'm not a big fan of the sexual trinosaurus like as I get when I start to mine I may but the thing is is if you mine with the level of tool that you're at you don't need all the extra stuff so you don't have to use all the beers and the the stuff like that uh, the 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 I just forget the other one the the clear one the, the the alcohol you don't have to use those to be able to fight off the stamina or a lot of sexual tyrannosaurus if you use the 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 weapon that or the tool that you're at that level for it, it's not as big of a hit on you so that's another reason why I do that do we need to get construction up so we're going to be working on that um, don't care about those advanced cooking fried eggs corn and the cob these are all good I need to get to bacon and eggs would be nice the one that we want though is dinner meal that is our and breakfast meal those are our best but those are gonna require a total of 25 points to get to that and cooking has to level up as we go so I could golden rod tea I'm going to hold off on that for now. Um, I'm not going to get into cooking quite yet. We're still finding enough stuff. Don't care about those. Minor 69er I am going to need, but let me see what else we got here first. I do know that, yeah, quality Joe. Probably should have been already had that, but yeah. Um, fast Eddie, luckily, it it's only four per. Um, and even to max out is 24. Once you get to that, it, it actually reduces that lose time. Not going to worry about that for now. Anything else I want? I have the 15 points. Okay, so with that, I think I am going to go back. We'll pick that up now that we have it. And I'm going to leave that extra 10 for now because I don't know what I want. Um, all right, so let's do a drying rack. What do I need? So I need wood, animal hide, and twine. I have all of that. So we're going to craft one of those. Um, campfire. The advanced campfire. Um, so I need a cooking pot. And I do have two, so I'm going to go ahead and make one of those right now since I don't have to, I won't have to move it later. And ammo. Where is it with? The ammo station. I think and I th there's another one I need to be able to make my higher level stuff. I am drawing a blank on it right now. Uh, let me see. Let's go ahead and get these get these set down so I can start making some leather. I've been collecting the leather straps or leather leather strips. So with the leather strips. Uh, 
that's that's not good. It's missing all of its uh That is very bizarre. So they were there. Okay. So leather strips, eight of them will give us a leather. And then I also have the regular animal hide, which I can do. So I have technically enough to make one bellows. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and set down our advanced campfire, which I think we're probably going to have to set back down here. Turn it around a little bit. I guess that works. Now with that, I can actually so I have wood. I do have wood. So I can make some water now. Oh, okay, gotcha. So this is part of the uh, the fix that they did to uh, get rid of some of the, the crafting legs. So there is no, this doesn't populate, so it doesn't get full of a whole bunch of uh, of uh, recipes that you can't do. So bottled water is there. All right, now I filled up a bunch of those. I could need six minutes worth of this. And it's, it's huge. For those that played it before would understand that the amount of uh, leg was crazy. All right, so I should be able to get, can make that now. Um, and let's see, what do I need to make the table, the food prep table? There it is, ammunitions table. That's what I was looking for. So I need forged iron and mechanical parts if I can make that. So I can't make that one quite yet, but the food prep table, I just need plastic and nails, which I have both. Nails and plastic. And luckily, I have my butcher's knife, which I have to leave, have to have in while I'm using it. But that is going to give us the ability to make some uh, some basic food items once we get that up. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and pause the recording while I wait for this to craft, and I will be right back. All right, and she is done crafting, so I think we're gonna put her right in here. So once we look into here, we'll go to the food. Um, so with corn bed and blueberry jams. And here's your butcher's knife required. So we're going to put that in. That gives us a bunch of items that we can now make. So here's our sliced raw meat. So it takes your meat and creates your sliced raw meat. And you're going to use that for a lot of recipes. Um, bacon and eggs requires fried eggs and bacon. Your bacon comes from cooking your sliced raw meat over here. Where is that? Yep. So there's your bacon. So a few more steps required for that. Um, and again, what I was talking about earlier, so these are, you know, your bowl of ramen and your bowl of pasta. So you can put those into there, cook them up, and it gives you that nice, nice uh, benefits. So we're going to take some of these waters. I think, let's take a look at here. should be able to combine. Yep. I can make bowls of water this way. Um, you can also just take it out and fill them up. And then what do I have? I have chicken soup right now, so I could make a bowl of chicken soup and three bowls of ramen noodles. So I'm going to do that real fast. We're going to also craft up some raw meat, make some straps, and I'm take this tenderizer because that also is needed in here. That's our other item. So now we're completely tooled out. I will take care of those, and I will be right back. So we got a little wandering horde here, <laughs> and I think they kind of tore through my house a little bit too, so they seem to be coming out the back end. Yep, so we'll have a little bit of cleanup to do after this, but we're going to go ahead and kill all these off and then we'll be back. Alright, so we cleaned everything up, everything's good to go. Um, I went ahead and made our bellows with our leather, got a couple left, and with that we've created our forge. And this is the basic forge, um, so I can't do a lot of stuff with it, but what I can do is I can make forged iron. So we will be able to um, craft that ammunition table uh, in our next episode. So I'm going to go ahead and get um, some stuff smelting in there, try and get enough to at least get, a, get 20 of these so we can craft that ammunition table. Um, and from there we'll be able to actually move on to some better crossbow bolts. So hopefully we can get some one-hit kills as we're doing our looting with the uh, sleepers. And then maybe we can take on one of the uh, bigger buildings here. So anyway, that is going to end it for this episode. Uh, again, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the, uh, the comments. I will do my best to answer them. Um, if you enjoyed it, go ahead and leave a like. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, we'll be back next time with some more 
Ravencraft fun. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. So we're cooking some of our bowls of murky water, crafting some bowls of water. Should only need three, four. So I need four total bowls of water. And then we're gonna make, see what we get off of this. And I'll, I'll show you the difference between the basic item, the second stage and the third stage. So one more water here. Okay, so our bowl of ramen now gives us 14 fullness with 3 hydration, and that warm soup actually gives us health, fullness, hydration, and some good wellness. So it does pay to save those up.